this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new Diamond Select. This is Marvel's Spider-Gwen Gallery PVC statue. When you get her out of package, she only actually consists of two parts, uh, an extra arm that you have to install and the rest of the statue. Let me show you how everything comes together. There is a slot right at the top there and the arm itself. The arm has to face inward. So what you need to do is take uh, the this slot here, this little opening here will fit this little tab here. So slide it through so that that little notch fits into that slot and you have to apply a little bit of pressure just to kind of get everything fixed in there. Making sure, of course, when you are putting the arm in, hold it by the torso and push it in. Don't hold it by the back because there's very little uh, actually of Spider-Gwen that's attaching herself to the wall. You don't want to add extra pressure to that. But there you have the completed PVC figure statue. It, uh, it looks quite good though, and I'm really impressed with how well they've done with uh, making these PVC statues affordable. Uh, they, they have kind of multi multiple tiers where you have a premium format statue that Diamond Select are releasing, and then they also are releasing like the, the more PVC statues that are much more affordable cost for collectors, uh, collectors to be picking up. The characters standing against this brick wall where you can see some nice painted in vines that are running up from the bottom of the wall all the way about midpoint here. I like the sculpting also in the wall bricks. The, the paint is done really nice here where you've got the lighter gray slightly just overlaid over top of the darker gray. Working our way up. Additional gray is made appearance here where the one hand is affixed to. And you got a little bit more of the vines running up to the top here with some interesting looking accent points there at the top corner. Kind of does look a little bit like the Green Goblin. So Gwen's holding herself by her feet, which are planked against the walls of the display stand. And then, of course, you've got the other hand here holding on. The additional hand, or the hand extended outward, is looking as if she's about to shoot a web out. The paint here uh, mixed with the whites, of course now you've got the incorporated pinks and the webbing being in blue, looks quite nice actually. I do like all this, the additional airbrushing that they've added around the eye portion, a nice very soft pink, it's not too stark versus the white. Overall I think the figure did turn out pretty good, the statue turned out pretty good. There's a few little uh, hiccups here when it comes to the paint, notably here in the forearm section. It's kind of really around the elbow areas where the, the blue from the webbing got a little on the messy side. And she has that webbing also on the interior of her hood. I like also that the, the whites weren't spared on additional paint. But they've gone in and it looks like they've used a lighter, almost light blue to bring out some of the little creases in the folds of the, the hood here, as well as under the peak point back section there of her hood as well. So I do like that they, they went back and they did give a little extra oomph to the white that it wasn't just solely the white. Also could be said there too for the, the hands, which have a little bit of that blue there as well. Showcasing the statue would look really nice like on the corner of a shelf or against the wall. Obviously when you turn the statue around, you're gonna see a little bit more of a hollow cavity of the display stand. You're really not going to display it from that end of it anyways, but from the front it looks really nice. Uh, one of the, again, I'm, one of the things I mentioned in the past and certainly can be added to this video as well, is that Diamond Select looks towards saving costs for when it comes to collectors. So releasing something like this here in a PVC plastic I think you get all the same benefits as what you would get with a polyresin statue at a much more affordable cost. I mean, looking at this, if I looked at this from a distance, I would think that this was a resin statue. I think it, 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 it holds up very well and it gives you all the elements that I would like from a maquette in a smaller, more affordable means. This is also perfect for fans of Spider-Gwen because I really think the statue as a whole turned out quite nicely. 
Uh, you can currently find this at your local comic book store. Uh, today we were checking out the new Diamond Select toys. This was the Spider Gwen and this was the Gallery PVC statue. They say PVC figure, but it's certainly more, I, I think, a statue than anything else. If you guys like this video, certainly hit it with a like. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel yet either, what are you waiting for? Click that little subscribe button down below. And as well, uh, did you know that Diamond Select has a YouTube channel? Did you know that? They had a, Di a Diamond Select YouTube channel, they do, where it will give you a chance to check out some of the upcoming releases before they've hit the store shelves. So it's kind of a fun way to kind of go in and get a sneak peek at some of the cool stuff that they're gonna be releasing. I'll put the link down below to Diamond Select's uh, YouTube channel if you wanna go over and check that out. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.